Yo, what's up people, Victor Bran here from Napster Films and today guys you're going to talk on how to remove photography flashes out of your video. Maybe you are a wedding filmmaker and just like me and you've gone and shot up out a very good wedding film and you come back and you find a lot of photography flashes and you want to remove that out of your video. Today I'm going to show you how to do that inside DaVinci Resolve. So this is not even my idea. I saw the idea from a YouTuber called Matt Johnson. He's a wedding filmmaker. So he did this and I decided why not do this inside DaVinci Resolve. So today I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's hop inside DaVinci Resolve and I will show you how to do this. And guys, remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to comment on my videos. So guys, we're inside DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm using the studio version, but you can do this inside the free version, I think. So I'm not quite sure, but I know you can use these settings inside the free version as well. So I'm going to show you two methods of how to do this. So first, we're going to use the adjustment clip, like the one that I have here. So you see, we are using an adjustment clip and secondly I'm going to show you how to use a compound clip so I have my video in here I've already imported this so right away guys I'm going to waste no time I'm going to show you how to do this so I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to use my arrows so remember guys we are on the edit tab we are not doing any fusion clips today you're going to do this inside the edit tab so i'm going to mark where i at the beginning of my video i'm going to use my arrow keys so i'm using the right arrow keys to move forward so we're going to find where the flashes are so right away we have one here so since we have this, I'm going to select the clip below here. I'm going to hold control for the ones who are using the PC, control. And for the ones who are using the Mac, so you're going to hold command. I haven't had a chance to use the Mac, so I'm always using a PC. So I'm holding control and B for boy to cut. So I'm going to cut and I'm going to go one keyframe forward so you see the flash isn't visible anymore and I'm going to hold control and B for boy to cut. I'm going to zoom in here using this section. So I'm going to select the clip that I've just cut and I'm going to press delete on the keyboard. So right away it deletes the frame. So we're going to move forward and you see right there we have another flash here. So I'm going to select, I'm holding control B to cut again, moving one frame forward, control B. And I'm going to select the clip, delete. Let me just move in here a little bit so guys you can understand what is happening here. So right away we're going to move forward, finding those flashes. So you're going to find every single place where you there. 
like here we see the flash so control b move one frame forward control b so right away here is the clip that we just cut so i'm going to select it and i'm going to press delete there is another flash so control b to cut one key frame forward select control b delete I'm using my arrow keys to scroll forward and guys we are going to make this quick photographers are good people I'm also a photographer so I know but sometimes you need light so there is another flash control B one keyframe forward control B select the clip that you just cut delete yeah you keep on repeating this process to the desired area Yeah, so we finally we are finally done. So right away guys, this is the clip that we have now. No flashes, but you notice that we are missing some frames. We are missing some frame. There's a frame there. There's a frame there that is missing. So right away i'm going to show you the first method that we're going to use the adjustment clip so i'm going to go on top here in the effects library i'm going to go under effects I'm going to go under adjustment clip and i'm going to drag my adjustment uh, adjustment clip sorry on top here i'm going to close it out i'm going to zoom in here so that the adjustment clip can fit all the way and the good thing with the adjustment clip you don't need to select everything you just need to select we, we need to apply the effect on the, the adjustment clip so for those who are using the Adobe previously this is like I don't know like how you nest clips so I'm going to select my adjustment clip and I'm going to go and uh, the read time and scaling if if this is turned off you just need to double click on the read time and scaling and then you go under the read time process drop down menu and go to optical flow so right away just like that after applying that effect let's see what we have here you see our clip is just playing smoothly davinci resolve have just generated the keyframes that were missing without the flash now so this is the first method guys so i'm going to select these clips that are below here the ones that we just cut i'm going to control c to copy or command c to copy or you can just right click and go under copy here let's just paste them here and i'm going to control v or command V for those who are using Mac or you can just right click you can just come here and right click and paste so which actually I've already pasted all these clips in here so I'm going to select them all let me just select them and I'm going to right click and I'm going to a new compound clip I'm not forming a fusion clip here I'm going to form a compound clip so all our clips are already nested in one clip like so so I'm going to select the compound clip I'm going to go under the retime and scaling I'm going to go under the retime process drop down menu and optical flow 
So right away guys we have applied our effects and that's it. You see no flashes and our clip is just playing smoothly. That is how you do it inside DaVinci Resolve 16 or DaVinci Resolve 15 whichever version that you have but this is how you do it inside DaVinci. So guys this it's been a pleasure to do this and I'm going to shout out to Matt Johnson who gave me this idea I saw it in his video so you I'm going to link his channel so that you can you guys can go and check it out for those who are using Adobe Premiere so that's how you my you that's how you do it guys that's how you do you remove the flashes from the video so once again guys subscribe comment like share the videos with your friends and we'll grow out as a community together See you next time guys, Victor out.